Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system valves proof testing. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. Proof testing of safety instrumented system valves. For a final control element such as on off wall, it requires full stroking of the element coupled with physical leakage test or other assessments to ensure that the element is having the intended effect on the process as per the IEC 61511 standards. As we all know, the many requirements for the safety instrumented systems are being governed by the IEC standards. IEC 61511 is the one for the process industry sector which has formulated the standards based on which different uh, requirements are being taken care. Another part is visual inspection of valves. Visual inspection is able to find if there are leaks, air filter regulator, booster release that can be corrected. If there are solenoid valve coil damage, air leak from the spools in connection, the same can be conducted and corrected. So visual inspection comes into picture whenever the valve proof testing is quite longer, maybe 5 years or 6 years and the plant may not be going for a shutdown. Usually the plants will have a turnaround interval of 6 years, 8 years or something depending on the plant's operating capability, capacity. So in such cases, the final elements are to be proof tested only in this 6 years or the turnaround period, whatever applicable. So the alternate way to ensure the healthiness of the cis valves is to do the visual inspection. So by visual inspection, we can test all these items like air filter regulator, boost release, solenoid valve coil, etc. So if there are any air leaks, coil damages found externally, the same can be attended to. So valve proof test. An automated valve proof test helps to discover hidden failures. These failures, if not corrected or removed, may impair the ability of the cis to take the process to its safe state when an abnormal process condition is detected. And the automated valves are in the process to isolate the process media going to a tank or process media going out of the tank to a process area. So they always handle hydrocarbons, oil, gas or chemical components which may have potential hazard to go in for a catastrophe like fire or leakage may cause uh, inflation issues for the human beings etc. So they are very critical for the operating process plants. So that is why proof test is uh, required as per the EC standard. So which can help to do all the hidden failure to find out the hidden failures etc. A proof test should be performed as per the proof test interval specified in the safety requirement specifications. This interval is usually determined an average probability of failure on demand calculation. There is a calculation for the probability of failure on demand. How far the instrument can go for care to fail? How the possible probability of that instrument or valve can go to fail. So by that the PFD calculations are being done. So based on which the proof test is also arrived at as per the calculations procedures. Some users may choose to proof test based on fixed intervals such as test final elements every 48 months instead of playing on the PFD average calculation which is not recommended. In some cases few manufacturing companies or few EPC companies, few companies may prefer to do the proof testing based on a standard interval which is not recommended by IEC. Again further going to valve proof testing, automated valve proof tests can be done offline or online. Offline proof tests are usually scheduled during a turnaround when the process is completely shut down. Offline means removing the valve from the position out of the piping and take it into the workshop, do the necessary servicing and repairs if any on the valve and do the soft parts change like mini gaskets, borings like that soft parts, they are known as soft parts. They may get uh, damaged or deteriorated over the period of working, maybe 6 years, 8 years after which the valve is being removed from the piping. So all these services will be done at front at a workshop and then the proof test will be arranged by connecting the relevant air supply and putting the valve in the 
test bench, etc., and connecting the required pressure lines, etc. Proof testing an automated valve online usually requires a unit or equipment to be shut down or the valve to be bypassed to prevent a spurious trip, making it inconvenient and costly. The valve needs to be tested online within the pipeline, may require that particular system to be shut down or if there are any alternate valves in the piping like a bypass valve is there so that can be used to keep the process running and test this valve which is a safety instrumented system valve otherwise there could be a chance that the testing may result into closure of valves and lead into the process trip which has to be avoided so to overcome all these difficulties the design should take care to provide a bypass valve wherever possible and make sure that the cis valves can be tested during the desired uh, during the calculated intervals proof test intervals whenever a process trip uh, proof testing under process trip this is another possibility uh, whenever a process trip occurs when the cis detects an abnormal process conditions via sensors such as temperature and pressure or also flow differential pressure etc may be there and level also may be there executes the logic and places the process in its safe state by tripping the final element such as closing an automated valve stopping a pump etc so these are all the automated actions for the safety instrumented systems sensors logic solvers and valves this works as per the process requirement according to the standards according to the engineering the sys may communicate with the basic process control system to close a valve downstream of the automated valve as a secondary action in the piping usually there will be an automated valve which is like on off valve which will make 100% open or 100% close and during the normal operation of the plant the valves will keep in open position and downstream of it there will be a control valve which can also open from 0 to 100% but gradually so it that's why it's known as control so the normally the control valve is being operated through the basic process control system it is doing the normal process variations to keep the for example to keep the level or maintain the pressure or maintain the temperature etc so during the condition of process trip anything is happening automatically due to the process uh, conditions so the automated on off valve which is activated through the safety instrument system will close and as a secondary action the uh, control valve will also close so this makes sure that the system is safeguarded fortunately if the automated valve is equipped with a dvc dvc is digital valve controller the proof tests of the valve can be considered performed with the diagnostic data captured by the dvc also a comparison of the diagnostic data with the valve's baseline can help discover valve deficiencies and degradations that may not show up in your proof tests. DBC is known as digital valve controller. It is an intelligent electronic so which collects the valve information data and keeps a database. So during the overall of the valve or initial installation of the valve those valves will be tested and the baseline data will be recorded how much in pressure the valve is moving to what position and what is the thrust required for the valve etc there are many parameters so all these things will be stored in the memory card inside the digital valve controller but Similarly, during the process trip condition, it will capture all the all the information when the valve is actuating. So, this is a helpful tool to confirm that the valve moved according to the desired or according to the design standards and it meets all the requirements. If there are any deviations, much deviations, the same can be taken care of and attended. So, by this, during the valve, any process upset or process uh, disturbance, the valve is being stroked and the proof test coverage is being taken into account digital valve controllers we are going to get into more details about the digital valve controllers here digital valve controllers not only provide intelligence benefits in terms of performance and safety by allowing partial stroke test online but also provides additional benefits in terms of ease simplicity flexibility diagnostics and improved reliability of the safety instrumented function etc by eliminating expensive conventional local test mechanism which was laborious, time consuming and requires specific talent. We saw about the valve testings in the online means in the processes in uh, running condition, processes in operating condition. So during such time making a stroke test on the valve is practically impossible unless there is a bypass arrangement. So there are some devices known as partial stroke testing devices which helps to 
move the ball little bit closing to 0% it will just move from 100% to say 90% or 95% the little movement of the ball can be taken as a credit as a proof testing is completed alternately there is a digital valve controller being supplied by some manufacturers which is an electronic device intelligent device and it helps to record all the information of the board the valve internals ball movement thrust any air leakages there and output position how much it is reaching all this uh, will be recorded in the digital valve controllers again during the initial installation or after an overall of the particular valve all this data is also taken so the technicians can compare the data between the initial condition and the current one so they can arrive at the decision about the healthiness of the valves digital valve controller reduces complexity and simplicity of the test process digital valve controller predictive maintenance capability provides the complete final element health analysis and reduces the amount of scheduled regular maintenance by extending turn around period so whenever any these valves are installed with the uh, digital valve controllers so it helps to read the internal data about the valves and do an analysis so which helps to increase the uh, turn around trouble in case of required any requirement based on the market conditions or uh, based on the raw material availability etc so all such cases digital valve controllers helps to confirm the internal failures if any and also do a baseline data verification otherwise testing the valve online is a hercules task which is mentioned over here because we need to do a uh, support for the valves in case uh, in the site and then connect an external instrument air supply isolating the main supply which is available on the valve like a milliamp calibrator like that we need to do it and test the feedback conditions etc so it which requires more energy as well as more manpower materials etc so by deploying the valves with the digital valve controllers it eliminates all these uh, additional uh, requirements and additional expenses only the initial cost of the valve may get increased by some percentage okay here we'll just go over the small photograph about the digital valve controller so it can be used this is the sys valve test automatic with the digital valve controller using an uh, AO stands for analog output which is a 4 to 20 milliamp signal from the safety instrumented system the logic solver there are different types of modules analog input analog output digital input digital output etc and some communication modes also may be there which communicate to the other systems and besides the processors and power supply units so this is an arrangement with the analog output of 4 to 20 milliamp signal which is a normal operating so from here the signal is going to the valve the digital valve controller and uh, the valve can be used to stroke and test the travel feedback how much it has traveled and all can be measured from the same device this is one arrangement additional and uh, different arrangement is this valve test schematic with the digital valve controller using a digital output 24 volt dc signal another one is a 24 volt dc digital signal so which can go from a digital output model of the logic solver if you see in this uh, picture both these pictures the logic solver is sitting in a non hazardous area which is a safe zone and it may be away from the process area depending on the plant's uh, architecture it may be in uh, half kilometer it may be in 200 meters or it may be in few kilometers as well and uh, they'll be connected through a fiber optic cabling etc to the field instruments so this is a non hazardous area and all our uh, valves and sensors which is installed in the plant process area they are known as hazardous area so here only the safety requirements may come up and any incident can lead into a fire gas leak etc so we need to protect the equipment people etc so this arrangement is for the uh, digital output signal of 24 volt dc so from here the gain signal is going through a line condition and this is to overcome any feedbacks coming from back from the system from, from the dvc and the field devices so there is a conditioner and the digital output is going again the valve is uh, the dvc is being installed and based on the uh, signal uh, coming to the uh, to the dvc it operates the valve 
Opens and closes the valve. So these are two different arrangements, and this is being on supply known as Emerson. Similarly, there are equivalent uh, devices available from different manufacturers as well. So valves inline proof testing and inline testing applications such as smart valve monitoring can monitor the emergency shutdown system valves for faults based on comparing an original full closure fingerprint of the ESD valve assembly and components such as solenoid valves against a partial stroke test. This is smart valve monitoring is another uh, product which is equivalent to digital valve controller which helps to identify the valves etc. And their system can perform all the tests at the emergency shutdown valve designed closure speed without shutting the plant down. So th this digital valve controller and smart valve monitoring, these devices when they are installed existing on, uh, on top of an automated on off wall helps to do the online testing and avoid dropping the wall, taking it to workshop, doing the necessary wall st servicing, stroking and then bringing it back into the line. So which is the time consuming as well as involve more money. So and this such kind of smart devices helps to avoid those expenses. So common cost failure of so we are uh, talking about the requirements of the safety instrumented system uh, automated valves which is more critical for the process to isolate uh, and bring down any hazardous conditions. The valves has to be 100% available to do the operations. So what are, what are the possible failure uh, of, with the common causes? So we'll just go over it to understand why it is more important. According to the ISA technical report 96.01, the most likely root causes of automated valve degradations which can lead to a process trip include partial or in intermittent shaking of hydraulic or pneumatic system components such as solenoids, pilots, speed controller, etc. due to moisture, debris or alignment issues. This causes a loss of functional margin and makes a valve slow to open or close. So such kind of valves being an isolation device for a process, they have to act quickly within a, within a certain operating time. They have to go from full open position to full close position, maybe in 5 seconds or 10 seconds depending on the process requirement. But if the components, the internal components like solenoid wall, and uh, the boost relays, uh, anything they are uh, and pilots, they are just uh, accumulated with uh, heavy dust or any moisture is there in the airline, which may lead into the slower operation of these components, eventually leading to slower operation of the total valve, and it may not prevent the hazard as intended. So this is one common cause of failure: binding, halling, or other degradations of valve seats or related flow control trim that restricts or resists valve movement. Again, similarly in the internally on the mechanical part of the valve, the, there could be some binding, galling, which means it becomes more tricky for the valve seat to move. So even though there is a command and there is an output going from the solenoid valve to do the actuation, the valve may not move due to the mechanical failures internally. So that also a common cause of failure. And uh, actuator seal degradation caused by compression, wear, and looseness that reduces the pressure available to actuate the valve. Uh, that is one actuator for each of the valves to operate. So that also has to be in a good working condition. But internal wear and looseness of the seals etc. may delay the actuate closure operations. Minor damage to the valve plug, disc or ball caused by system conditions, uh, leakage or debris including a buildup of hydrocarbon products. This causes also leakage. Actually sometimes what happens the process itself may get leaked through the wall stem etc and get accumulated in the instrument air filter regulator or any other pneumatic components. So this kind of debris again hamper the valve actuation and delay the valve closure. Complete failure of hydraulic control system components such as solenoids, pilots, speed controller etc due to moisture, debris or alignment. The valve will fail to open or close. There could be some reasons, extreme conditions, which may totally block the operation of the pilot valves, solenoid valve, etc. And it, this could be due to the accumulation of moisture, accumulation of dust or any other debris. And this may totally avoid the valve movement, thereby leading to the failure. Thank you. These are the different uh, common causes that can happen. So the sixth valve installation maintenance proof testing is a very critical one for the process plans.
Thank you very much.